how to place your drippy stencil. So first you're gonna prep your leather, you're gonna get your stencil, then you're gonna just cut out your stencil really carefully and then weed out your stencil so then you can see what you're doing a little bit better. Next, transfer paper goes on, then you're going to press on the stencil firmly so that the transfer paper will peel up and then you're just gonna peel up your stencil and then place it on your shoe. This part is super important, so make sure that the placement is perfect. You can have it a little bit lower, or you can take it up a little bit higher. It's really up to you on what you want to do. Then you're going to firmly place it. Now, as you peel off the transfer paper, I start on the right side and peel up. So I start on that drippy side and then peel up, and then I'm just going to cut off this excess. We don't need it right now, so that we can paint the Nike swoosh as we're painting the drips. Also, I do recommend not using scissors. Make sure that you use an X-Acto knife. This piece here, you don't have to cut off. It depends on how you want the drip to look. I like it to be more uniform, so I'm just cutting it off. And then the tip right there, I'm also going to cut off so that it's more of a smooth, clean line. Now paint the stencil part white first so that there's not any paint bleed. And then you can use your red or whatever color you're going to do and then finish her. I like liquid kicks. Anyways, good luck comment if you want to see more stencil tutorial videos. If you don't care about them, say, ill gross now. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Take care, guys.